Traditionally, we think of agriculture as one certain way, but Linda, there's some new approaches that, that, that's actually been more healthy for the land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're trying to take a sustainable approach, mm -hmm. and that's more of a natural approach to farming. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had the conventional methods for years, and we're finding that it's depleting the nutrients in the soil. So one method we're trying to do is use cover crops mm -hmm. as far as using that to add organic matter and replenish the soil nutrients and uh, it also adds uh, nutrients in the soil. Um, things we like to do is uh, in the fall after you remove your crops, mm -hmm. go ahead and go in with a cover crop. Mm -hmm. And this cover crop, we like to do a mix of wheat and rye and uh, crimson clover is a good one to use as well as some tillage radish and that's able to um, increase so much soil nutrients as well as organic matter, which also increases the water holding capacity and reduces compaction. Um, the old traditional methods of using the synthetic chemicals and fertilizers, you know, are getting expensive and costly and uh, we're trying to do away with that expense a little bit and in going this more natural approach we're able to decrease some of those inputs and go more of a natural way. And you, you, you just mentioned some of the crops that are going into this into this plot right uh -huh. here. Talk, talk about actually deciding which ones you want to introduce to the into the soil because certain ones bring certain benefits right. and then how did you plant this? Okay, um, we, we try to do a mixture mm -hmm. and, and you can just use one certain thing but we found that when you use grasses like wheat and rye you're going to add a lot of organic matter to the soil. Uh, and then your legumes will add that. Um, and we like a crimson clover. Uh, those will actually, as they decompose, once you till them under in the spring, they will actually add nutrients to your soil. This, this field that we're standing in here, this was planted uh, not too long ago. And so there's still an opportunity for producers to, to take this approach. Oh yes, I think you've got till probably the end of October to get your fall cover crops in. Uh, in fact, this field right here, I planted exactly a week ago, mm -hmm. and as you can see, we've already got quite a bit of wheat and some of the legumes coming up in the soil. So it doesn't take long with the right conditions and moisture. And these are, these are things that Oklahoma producers can learn about in an upcoming uh, conference you guys have. Yes, yes, we've got a conference coming up October 9th and 10th. It is at the OSU Oklahoma City campus at the Student Center. Uh, we have several keynote speakers that are going to talk about cover crops, improving soil, fertility, and bi biological health of the soil. And there's also a full schedule available at uh, www.hortla.okstate.edu. Well, that's great information, Linda, and we'll have a link to that on our website, sunup.okstate.edu.